The spiny spider crab's body is completely covered by rigid, curved hairs to which algae and other elements from the seabed get tangled and thus allow it to blend in with their environment. What's more, this spiny armor deters its predators while it searches for food in unprotected environments. Recently, the acidification of the oceans has affected the Mediterranean in particular. Because it's a closed sea, man-made pollution is drastically varying the acidity of its waters, making it too high for the calcareous shells of crustaceans, which soften as a result of the chemical reaction or don't even reach the necessary consistency to protect them against its predators. Flying gurnards are also widely distributed throughout almost all the warm seas in the world. But like many other species of little commercial value, little is known of them apart from what can be observed when they're captured, generally by trawling. It seems that to market them would be rather unproductive and they would be too costly to process because of their spiny protuberances. So their already dead bodies are thrown overboard by the thousands. These fantastic beings are basically diurnal. But with the spring full moon, thousands of adult individuals throughout the Mediterranean coast that are dispersed during the day come together, possibly to display their genetic prowess before spawning in absolute synchrony. Unfortunately, this and many other species are in danger due to the loss of their habitat, caused by excessive trawling and pollution. Because of this, we might never find out why flying gurnards come together under the Mediterranean moonlight. Through their rhinophores, Opistobranchia like this one perceive the odors that will lead them to the sponges and acidaceas on which they feed, or to the chemical traces of other kin. They have a small calcareous shell inside their mantle where they also have gills and reproductive organs. Hermaphrodism is common in these slow-moving species. The sea here also has an internal shell, a vestige of its evolutionary past. But its peripodium isn't joined at the top, which allows the animal to swim by moving its mantle like a pair of wings. Some Aplysias move with agility through large distances in search of better places to feed or in the wake of some other sexually interesting individual.
They are also hermaphrodites, although in order to constantly renew the species genetically, they crossbreed. Very rarely do they self-fertilize themselves. Reproduction is sexual. Both individuals are capable of providing, receiving, and storing sperm to fertilize the eggs that will lay well attached to any stable surface in the form of a spiral gelatinous bunch. From them, tiny larvae will hatch and survive by floating among plankton in open waters until they develop completely and return to the coastal bottoms to continue their biological cycle.